Hey, Foundry Church, Eric Folkers here, excited to join you for day two of our preparation as we go into the National Day of Prayer this coming Thursday. And I thought to myself, what's more American than camouflage, football, the American flag, and a mustache? How fun is that? All right, anyway, sorry, I get a little distracted and I have to, I don't know, I, I guess I had to dress up for the occasion because I love America and I'm excited to pray over this beautiful country God has blessed us to live in. So uh, to frame our week, we are praying through something called the ACTS prayer, not the A-X, but the A-C-T-S prayer. It stands for adoration, confession, thanksgiving, and supplication. And today we're talking about confession. Here's the deal with confession. When, when I say that word, something comes to mind, doesn't it? See, in our culture, a lot of times we think it's just getting something off our chest. Oh, I feel bad about this, so I'm going to just say this. Well, that's not really what confession is. When you look back um, at it, it's not like confessing a crime or, or just kind of, you know, letting things, letting the cat out of the bag, so to speak. What confession is and the word it deals with is it's a word that means to agree with God about your sin. So confession is coming to a point where you agree with God about what you're what you have done it being a sin. The second aspect of it would be that after we confess, we ask God to forgive us. We ask God through his mercy which is shown to us in Jesus Christ to forgive us of that sin. And then you agree again with God on this one central fact that the blood of Jesus paid the price and the penalty for that sin. Confession means a lot more than just getting something off your chest. We, we go through something more in it. Another part of confession is simply to invite the Holy Spirit to speak into your life, maybe shine a light over your life and let you know the things that are going on that maybe don't honor God and need to be changed. Let the Spirit search our heart expose anything that maybe is hidden away there that we didn't know. Hey, I need to confess this. And we bring it before the Lord. For me, this feels a little more intimidating because I'm always scared like, what's God going to find, right? But when he finds it, it gives me an experience to get back in alignment with God, agree with him about my sin, confess, receive forgiveness, and have that joy in my life. You won't find an angry, mean God when he convicts you of sin. You'll find a God who desires to be in relationship with you, and that relationship comes through confession. So how do we start? For me, I have to close my eyes. And even sometimes that doesn't help me like stay away from being distracted. I close my eyes, but what I do is I posture myself like this. I invite the Holy Spirit to come, and I invite the Holy Spirit to lead me. So I'd invite you, close your eyes, stick your hands out and ask God to bring to mind anything that's going on or has gone on in your life, your actions, words, thoughts, anything that he knows is sin and wants you to confess and get right with him. If something specific comes to mind, here's what I want you to do. Agree with God, it's a sin. Ask God, would you forgive me? And then agree with God once again that the blood of Jesus was, is, and always will be the all-sufficient sacrifice that redeemed you from a sinful past into his righteousness. That is such good news. Try beginning that process of confession with the following words that comes from Psalm. Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24 says it this way. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way of life everlasting. 1 John 1, 9, the apostle John writes a letter to the church and he says this, and it's really good. If you go through confession today, if you go through this process and you confess, hear these words as words of hope and a promise that come from the apostle John, the apostle Jesus loved. He always called himself that, right? Um, hear these words that come from him. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. So rest assured, friends, if you have confessed your sins, agreed with God, been forgiven, and then agree with God that the righteousness of Christ has been given to you, your heavenly father has forgiven you.
You are whole and perfect in his sight. And as you go about your day, may you feel the freedom, the peace, and the joy that comes from a life that has been forgiven and redeemed by Jesus Christ. And may you share that same grace with the world you're in today. The believer in Jesus Christ in the marketplace is the most wonderful tool of evangelism. So friends, let it begin with confession. Grace and peace to you. Make sure you're out here on Thursday when we join for the National Day of Prayer. Take care.